Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to do another challenge for you guys. The first one that I did was my 100 coats of makeup and some people loved it, some people hated it, but overall you guys really enjoyed it and I had so much fun filming it. So I'm here today with another challenge. I'm so excited because it's the how I did my makeup in high school challenge. I saw my friend Myra's video a few days ago and I loved it. I'm going to list it in the description box below so you guys can go check it out. And I'm also going to tag some of my YouTube friends that I would love to to see create this video so let's get started but before I jump into the video I kind of wanted to look like I was in high school While I was in high school I had curly hair I had a big fro it was so beautiful I miss it now my hair doesn't get like that anymore so let's make that happen oh wait I forgot the hairnet crap This was exactly my hair in high school. I had big curly hair. My hair color was like caramel brownish, similar to this. I went to the store and I was like, give me a wig. I love it. I miss my curly hair. Now that I have this wig on, I really miss my curly hair. And I wore it curly every single day of my freshman year in high school. Sophomore year, of a girl, I don't even want to talk about it. Freshman and sophomore year, I had pretty much the same makeup and then junior, and senior year, I had like crazy makeup. So I'm gonna show you guys how I used to do my makeup my freshman year in high school. Um, this was exactly what I used to use in high school. I went to the beauty supply and I was like, oh my God, I literally use this every single day. And I used the shade light, which was way too light for my skin tone, but I found it and I'm going to use it. This is the Maybelline Concealer Stick. And I'm surprised that they're still selling this because when did I start high school? I started high school in 2005. I never used to moisturize my face, which is so bad. So if you don't moisturize your face before putting on makeup, you definitely should. So this is what I used to do. I basically used to put on the concealer. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Only where I had the dark circle, that's where I used to put on my concealer. And I had so many dry patches because, like I said, I didn't moisturize my skin. My freshman year, I really didn't break out a lot. So I didn't really have like pimple problems like I do now. I used to just blend it in with my fingers and that's pretty much it. Like you can see the dry patches from like a mile away. I never used to do my brows. Honestly, I started doing my eyebrows in 2012 to 2011, not that long ago. So what I used to do is I used to go in with mascara. I don't remember what mascara I used to use, but I used to take my mom's makeup because I never, I was never like into makeup so I never knew where you could buy makeup. I used to just use my mom's mascara and it's so funny because the only people that wore makeup in my family was my mom and my grandma and I think my grandma had her eyebrows tattooed and I was always like why do her eyebrows look like that? Like why does it look like she's bad? But they looked really good actually. My under eye used to look so bright and then the rest of my face was like the color of my body. The only thing that I wore on my lips freshman year was that Victoria's Secret lip gloss that every single girl in high school had. Like it was crazy. Like everyone had a different color of that glittery lip gloss which was so intense. And then it had so much glitter. I found this one at the beauty supply. It's just like clear lip gloss with glitter in it. So I feel like this should be good. And then junior year and senior year. Let me show you guys how I used to do my makeup. Junior year and senior year is when I discovered MAC because that's when my mom started using MAC makeup. And um, she used to use the MAC Pro Longwear in the pot. And I used to use that the same way that I applied this concealer. I would apply it. I actually don't have one right now. But I'm going to just leave this concealer on. And then I bought my first foundation at MAC. It was the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I had NW42. NW42. That was so pink. It literally looked like I had a white cast all the time. Seriously, like the back of my neck is wet. Like I'm sweating so much. I never used a brush for my foundation. I literally just used my fingers all over my face. Because there was no beauty blender. There was no... Sigma brushes that I knew of. My God, I got foundation in my hair. No Morphe brushes. So I literally just blend. Oh, actually, no, I didn't put foundation on my. Ah! So I would basically just blend my foundation with my fingers. And that was it. Like I told you guys, I did not wear foundation on my forehead. I had no idea why, but I would never wear foundation on my forehead because I thought my forehead was like fine for some reason. Like I can exclude it from the whole thing. This wig is no joke. 
I'm literally sweating my ass off. I didn't know anything about contouring, highlighting, or anything like that. So I pretty much just had a blush and like a really cheap brush that came in those like makeup kits. I would just basically place it on the center of my cheeks, right in front, just like that. Because I really loved that like really pretty blushed um, cheeks. Like, I don't know, I just thought that was so cute. So let me tell you guys a little story. Junior year in high school, I wanted to be a blonde so bad. And one day, I got home from school and I was like, I'm just gonna buy a bleach, because I used to see my mom bleach her hair, so I knew what products she would use. So I went to the beauty supply and I spent like my 10 bucks in three bleaches and the liquid and the little thing you have to mix it in. And um, I went home that afternoon and I locked myself in the bathroom. Oh my God. Oh my god, I'm going to include a picture here somewhere at, of the end result, but basically this hair was gone. All of my hair was gone. My hair fell out and I literally have three strands of hair. Actually, somebody tagged me in this picture um, on Facebook and I was like, Grrr! I've never denied a picture so quickly in my life like I did when I saw that picture. I was like, no, no, no. Ah! I also started playing around with colors senior year in high school and um, I'm gonna include a picture of my prom makeup right here. I actually went to MAC to get it done and I don't know what the girl was thinking because <laughs> oh my god that hairstyle, that makeup. At the time I, th I thought she did a great job and I'm just looking at myself and I'm like <laughs> So when I used to add colors to my eyes, I would go in with like a blue eyeshadow like this. And I never had brushes or anything like that, so I would just take the little applicator that came in the palette. And I'll take like the brightest blue, and I'll just put it all over my lid. And I'll just do that all the way up, like halfway through my crease. I saw a picture, like I've been looking for pictures for inspiration for this video for like two hours. I mean, I, it wasn't that long to be honest with you guys because I just went to my tagged pictures on Facebook and I was like, yeah, that's when I'm going to find the embarrassing pictures because everyone just tags you on embarrassing pictures on Facebook. So I found this picture of me um, and I had like blue eyeshadow everywhere and I'm like, what is that? I'm not even kidding you guys, this wig is so heavy and it's making me sweat like a maniac. I didn't know anything about blending, transition color smoky eye oh my god eyeliner was the hardest thing ever i used to see my mom she would just like do it i remember she had this maybelline felt tip eyeliner and it was so tiny and i'm like how is she doing her eyeliner with this and then i kept trying and i kept trying this is what i used to do with my eyeliner and then i'll just flick it up it wasn't that long it was like it was very short. It was like that. It was like, yeah, it was just like that. Like, I would just flick it up, and that was like a bomb ass eyeliner. Like, back in the day, I would be like, my eyeliner is on point. And then the last thing that I would do is I will go in with the blue, and then I'll add a little bit under my lower lashes. Because I thought that was cool, because I thought it looked really good. When I had really curly hair like this in high school, I would always say, I want straight hair I hate my curly hair and now I have straight hair and I'm like oh I kind of miss my curly hair so this is basically how I used to do my makeup in high school I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one very soon bye guys